What's going on, YouTube? This is your neighborhood DraftKings addict, bringing you my top picks for Monday's four game main NBA DFS slate. Got to be honest, guys, I'm a little disappointed we got another four game slate. Because again, you know, I'm not a biggest fan of four game slates. But hey, let's get into the money. All right, guys. So off the top, guys, let's go ahead and let's uh, look at this right here. James Harden was out today. He's supposed to be back. All right. He's ruled out Sunday, but he should be back Monday versus San Antonio. You know what I'm saying? The I-10 rivalry in full effect, guys. You know. All right. So if you look at the last two times these two teams met, James Harden is averaging about 52 DK points, man. All right. For a guy that's 10.7K, that's not going to cut it, guys. You know. We need 60. 60 plus, baby. And uh, it's only a couple of games that James Harden has hit 60 plus over his last 10, guys. So, me personally, I won't be going with Harden. All right. But just know, hey, he's at home versus San Antonio. A couple of days rest, dealing with the whole little knee thing or whatever. I think he banged knees with somebody or something. But he should be good to go, man. They're just being cautious with him. But, um, so yeah, somebody I like from that game, guys, let's go ahead and talk about this guy. Just off the top, just because uh, Powell Gasol is, uh, should be in a good spot, man. Aldridge is out. Kawhi Leonard. I heard he was coming back. But I don't believe he's back yet. Oh, wrong Gasol. <laughs> Paul Gasol. There you go. All right. So, if you look at this last two games he played, this team, he only played 18 minutes, but he put up 16 DK points, guys. He should get heavy minutes with Aldridge being out. His usage should be through the roof. You know, again, he should be a guy that's going to, uh, you know, play a lot. And it's going to be a high-scoring game, fast pace. I look for Paul to put up about a – about about 35, 45 points, man, you know, but, um, or, or even higher, you know, his ceiling is what, 50? Yeah, he hit 50 twice this season, so anything's possible, guys, but uh, I like Paul Gasol with uh, Aldridge out and all the injuries that they got uh, as far as the bigs go over there in San Antonio, okay? All right, so, matter of fact, let's look at Kawhi, man, because I heard he was, uh, he was back, or getting ready to come back, let's see, Quadricep. Hopes to return on Thursday's contest, all right, versus New Orleans, guys. So just F FYI, Kawhi is on the uh, horizon. But, of course, you know, they're going to ease him back in. He's probably not going to pay 35 minutes when he first comes back, guys. But anyway, just something to keep in mind, maybe for the season-long people, you know, but anywho. All right, let's go ahead and keep it moving. All right, so another play I like today, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me there. So let's see what we got. So we're going to the point guard. And uh, another game that I like, guys, is going to be this uh, OKC and Sacramento game. All right. OKC should be able to sing handily, just just beat the snot out of Sacramento. All right, guys. But one of the players I like to benefit from this beatdown is going to be this guy right here. You know, last three times these two teams have played, he put, he's averaging about 35 DK points, 34 DK points, which is great for a guy that's 5K. All right. This team is tanking. He's getting 25, 30 minutes. He's taking a gang of shots. Most games, and this should be a high-scoring, fast-paced game. Um, right here, here you go. 107 to 110. He played 29 minutes, took 13 shots, had nine rebounds, four assists, 19 points. All right, guys. I like Buddy Hill, guys, for value. All right. Another pair I like, guys, in a good spot. Same game. Paula G, guys. Come on, man. You know, I heard that uh, Adams is questionable. I believe he had an injury or something like that. But, again, Paul George should be able to eat, do whatever he want, pretty much, against this team in Sacramento, guys. So, I like his usage. I like his minutes played. He's going to play about 35 minutes, you know. And the last two last time the teams met, again, it was a pretty close game, surprisingly. All right, because, again, the Sacramento team is scrappy. Um, Paul George had 50 DK points, man. And we already know Paul George can put up some numbers with peripherals, you know, points, rebounds, steals, blocks, you know. He does a little bit of everything, so. I like Paulie George, man. Me personally, guys, I'm not paying up for these these 12K guys, you know, LeBrons and Hardens and Westbrooks and all that. Um, I don't really see any good good um, value to help me afford those guys, but that's just me, so I'm going with more of a balance lineup tomorrow. But, again, I'm playing light because I'm not a, fa a fan of four-game slates. But 
with you guys. No problem. If you love four game slates, if that's where you, is that, if that's where you flourish, and you and you play well, hey, knock yourselves out, guys. All right, another player I like, guys. Memphis has a gang of uh, injuries, and uh, I like Gasol, the other Gasol, to get good minutes and get good usage uh, versus Milwaukee, who, who tends to give it up to the center. Uh, I like Gasol as well, the other Gasol. So we got both the Gasol brothers. All right, all right, another player I like, guys, in in a matchup is going to be this Portland game. You know, C.J. McCullough, he's been hot lately. You know, he's ramping up, guys, 53, 40, 36, 40. All right, he's playing big minutes. All right, and this is a Miami team that he can eat against. If you look at his uh, history versus this team, he played 41 minutes and uh, put up 41 DK points. Should be a competitive game. Miami's fighting for their playoff lives. I like I like McCullough. Now, I like big game Dame, too, but I can't play that price, man. The price is too damn high. Just my opinion. All right, guys. So that's my top five plays for tomorrow. You probably look at this like, man, he doesn't have any of the Houston players. Hey, man. I'm just again. I'm, I'm going with the value, guys. But um, some of the plays I like tomorrow, guys. Um, outside the ones shown, let's go ahead and take a look at this uh this app that I've been using called Draft Dashboard. All right, guys. So we take a look at this. Let me move my screen over. All right. So this is the position optimizer. All righty. So up here at the top, we got the, you can play it by position, and you can go in here and you can uh, select uh, which position you like to uh, optimize, and uh, it shows you the top plays. All right, guys, so as you can see, it's a rough slate for the shooting guards, man. A lot of good defensive teams, but hey, at the end of the day, you got to go in there and find that value. So like here with Buddy Hill, you see, it's the uh, 22nd DVP versus that particular position. All right, so again, I like Buddy Hill to get, you know, his usages uh, projected for 24%. Percent, you know, he averages somewhere around 24 to 23 percent usage. Again, he comes off the bench, but he's the main guy off the bench, guys. But um, I'm loving this draft dashboard app. Again, this is a great way to get in your research in a quick way, and it puts all the plays, good plays, pretty much right in front of you. You know, again, sometimes you have to dig a little bit, like today. Again, we got a pretty pretty tough four game slate, a lot of red as far as good defensive teams, but you got to pick. Your weak spots on the team. So, all right, guys. So, all right, good luck with that one. Check out the Draft Dashboard app. The link is in the description. If you click on the link in the description and register through my, my link, you get a seven-day trial of the app for $1. Try it out, guys. All right? And so once you go in here and you select all your players and, um, and you're ready to go, then you want to come over here and click on the uh, lineup optimizer. All righty. And then let it go through, and it'll build you a lineup. So as you can see right here, guys, we got a pretty decent-looking lineup. We got Eric Gordon, who's only 5K, McCollum, Carmelo Anthony. I don't know about that one, but if you don't like Carmelo Anthony, you can go in here and click on Upgrade, and you can go to Michael Green or Chris Middleton. I like him. All right. All right, and you got Paul George, John Hinson. You don't like John Hinson? You got one upgrade available. Let's see who we got. We got Costa Kufas, who's been playing pretty well for Sacramento, guys. That's somebody that we could go with, all right? Matter of fact, go ahead and lock him in. With OKC having some issues at center, that might be a good play or not. All right, guys. Let's see what else you got down here. You got Zach Collins. You got Levine in San Antonio. But uh, he's not consistent enough, in my opinion. But you get the point, guys. You can go in here and upgrade players as you see fit, guys. You got Paul. You got Blesso, who's been playing well lately as well, guys. So, all right. So, you like the lineup. You save it, and you can um, download the, the uh, information and upload it to the DraftKings. There's also options for FanDuel, guys. So, All right, so good luck on tomorrow's four-game slate, guys. Again, I'm personally playing light, but um, I will throw in the game. Uh, I'm in a lineup or two because, again, I love the sport of DFS. I love the challenge, guys. So follow me on Twitter you know, to get updates and uh, any uh, information that I come up out. I won't be able to put on this video. But uh, follow me on Twitter. I do tweet out some things every now and then. Um, I even tweet out a lineup every now and then as well, guys. So, all right. Good luck tomorrow, guys. See you on Tuesdays uh, to break down Tuesdays late tomorrow night. Holla.